My name is Roger Mullers. I'm the product application manager for the product group of driver demand controls. The experts are cooperating with our international manufacturing locations and sales teams. The customers are global OEMs of the passenger car, truck, industrial and two and three wheeler business. The products and technologies are known for their high and long-term stability, with excellent robustness and with global manufacturing sites in Europe, China and India. Most of the driver demand control business is customized, but we also have standard designs in place, which can be modified according to customer needs. Hence, customer could contribute from our experience and can shorten the time to market and minimize the risk by carrying over our standards. I would like to explain to you the force feedback pedal or haptic pedal with reference to this demonstrator. On the left side of the demonstrator here, you can see a switchboard where I can change the mode of the pedal. On the other side, you see the haptic pedal. Here, I can show you the haptic pedal a little bit more in detail. Here in this area of the pedal, this is for the standard characteristic of the pedal. It's a 5 volt application with a 6 pin connector on this side and there's also a kickdown element integrated in the pedal. On the other side, here, we have the haptic element. The haptic element is needed to generate an additional force on the force characteristic, which I'll show you a little bit later. And we have here a 2 pin connector to drive the haptic element within the pedal. So let me now operate the pedal for you. So if I'm pushing down the pedal plate, you can see here that the force feedback is just engaged. That means here in this area, nearly half of the travel, you have an additional force generated by the haptic element in the pedal. This means in this area, the driver has the choice to release the pedal plate again to drive, for example, battery, or he wants to accelerate further on and have to push the pedal plate down a little bit harder and now starting combustion engine and he can accelerate as he wishes. And if I switch back to normal, you see the difference. Here, this is without the haptic element, so this is a really constant force travel. And this is the difference between a standard pedal and a haptic pedal that you can change the mode of the pedal here in this area. Yeah. Here again you have the force characteristic of the haptic pedal with an increase of the force. In this case we are talking about roughly 15 Newton. 